Hello everyone, welcome to Movie Explained. Today I'm showing you a fantasy romantic horror movie called Horns. Spoilers are ahead. Watch out and take care. A lovely teenage couple, Iggy and Marin, lie frolicking in the woods. The couple promises to love each other and spend the rest of their lives together. The next morning, Iggy wakes up drunk next to an empty bottle. He stumbles into the next room, grabs his jacket, and turns on the tape recorder. He closes his eyes, recalling memories of Marin. Outside the window, he sees a group of reporters and angry spectators. They are holding signs accusing him of murder. He makes a speech in the crowd, ignoring the reporters, goes to his car, and then heads to his parents' house. Iggy has lunch with his family, and his father tries to convince him to hire a legally proficient lawyer, and even offers to pay the fee. But Iggy refuses and insists on having a childhood friend as his lawyer. Iggy's mother mentions that they will always love him regardless of his situation. But Iggy, finding his parents doubtful of his innocence, gets furious and storms out of the room. His brother follows him onto the deck of the backyard, playing the trumpet trying to calm him down. Iggy's friend Lee comes to see him and reveals a series of bad news. Lee tells him that the evidence laboratory that collected samples from Marin's body has been destroyed in a fire, and the police have found a new witness to prove his charges. Iggy drives to a bar to take his mind off things. The bar owner refuses to serve him and asks him to leave the bar, complaining that others feel uncomfortable because of his conviction. Glenna, a childhood friend of Iggy, comes to his rescue. She pours him a drink and starts flirting with him. She asks him to meet after work, but Iggy refuses and tells her that it's better to be alone. That night, people gather at the crime scene for a ceremony at Marin's memorial. They pay tribute to the deceased girl, and her father gives a eulogy. He is suddenly reminded of her memory. He groans in pain for her death and curses Iggy for killing his daughter. The crowd prays for her eternal rest. Iggy listens to everything hiding in the treehouse, crying in pain. After the crowd disperses, Iggy angrily stumbles and urinates on Marin's monument. Glenna stops him and asks him what he thinks he's doing. Iggy yells that even though Marin was religious, God couldn't save her life. Glenna moves forward, trying to comfort him. The next morning, Iggy wakes up next to Glenna, realizing they clapped drunk the night before. Iggy feels a lump on his head, rushes to the mirror, and finds a horn growing on his forehead. He asks Glenna about his horn, but he doesn't get the reaction he expected. She seems to think it's quite normal. Then she asks Iggy to let her eat a whole box of donuts. Glenna confesses to Iggy that she feels worthless, and no one would find her attractive. Iggy drives to see a doctor. In the waiting room, he finds a screaming child and her mother. He requests the receptionist to arrange an appointment with Dr. Reynolds. A woman has to confess to Iggy her dissatisfaction with her marriage and her desire for the golf coach. The receptionist confesses that she wants to scream at the child's mother for the child's improper behavior. After asking Iggy about this, she screams at the mother. Iggy tries to prevent the conflict between them. But when he grabs these women's hands, he sees the scene of her seducing the golf coach in the past. Later, during the examination, the nurse confesses to Iggy that she wants to wreck her cheating boyfriend's car. The doctor asks Iggy about this. Iggy reacts amusingly when he discovers that his doctor hasn't found anything unusual about his horn. The doctor tells Iggy that the horn has a hallucinatory effect, making people tell the truth and he will forget this when he looks away. The doctor checks the horn but is immersed in fantasy. Iggy asks the doctor to saw off his horn. The doctor isn't sure if it will work but still wants to try. The nurse makes him have a good dream. Iggy dreams about the day he first saw the lovely young Marin. She tries to catch his attention by reflecting her cross to him. Iggy falls in love with Marin the moment he sees her. Later, Iggy finds her cross in the church and takes it away. The next day, Iggy has a great time with his friends. But Eric takes defensive measures and refuses to hand over the last cherry bomb. After persuasion, Eric agrees to give the cherry bomb to the person who slides down the log slope naked. Iggy accepts the challenge. However, after sliding down the slope, he gets stuck under a log in the water. He has a hard time getting free, but all his efforts are in vain. Eventually, Lee jumps into the water to rescue his friend, barely pulling him out of the water. Eric still refuses, but Terry grabs the cherry bomb and gives it to Iggy. Later, Lee is fixing Marin's cross and asks Iggy if he likes her. Lee wants to give Marin her cross, but Iggy gets jealous and trades his cherry bomb for Marin's cross. The next day, Iggy meets Marin in the church and gives her the cross. Marin is delighted to see Iggy has finished her cross. They chat in the yard, and Iggy learns that Marin moved to the city because her mother died of cancer. Terry rushes over to them, telling them that Lee's hand has been blown off by the cherry bomb. They rush to the hospital and find out that Lee has lost his fingers. 
Iggy apologizes to Lee for giving him the cherry bomb, but Lee calms him down and is happy to see Marin with them. The next day, Iggy takes Marin to see a treehouse in the middle of the woods. There, Marin admits her feelings for Iggy, and they passionately kiss each other. The film tells about their life as adults. Marin gracefully dances in the treehouse, and they finally clap. Finally, Iggy wakes up from anesthesia to find a hacksaw stuck in his horn. He manages to pull the hacksaw off his horn. He is surprised to find the doctor and nurse clapping in the operating room. The doctor makes excuses for their distraction, but Iggy leaves the hospital after finding his horn still growing. Iggy visits a priest, but he is terrified and asks Iggy to stay away from him. He tells him that there is no way to remove the horn except suicide. Later, Iggy visits Lee, but strangely, Lee can't see the horn. This causes Iggy to doubt himself, thinking he might have killed her while drunk with Marin. A confused Iggy goes to see his mom, but he is traumatized when she admits she hates him for the problems he caused and wishes he would stay away from them forever. He then goes to see his father, who admits that his friend helped destroy the evidence in the lab. They get into a heated argument, and he finds out his father is disgusted by his killing of Marin. Iggy decides to find his girlfriend's killer on his own because he gains persuasiveness from the horn. A group of journalists tries to follow him, but Iggy uses his demonic powers to make them fight each other. Iggy enters a bar, and the bar owner attacks him with a baseball bat, but his persuasiveness saves him. He asks the people in the bar about Marin's killer. Everyone starts confessing their dark secrets. A man tells him that the witness was a waitress who served him and Marin the night they died. The waitress falsely accuses Iggy of dragging Marin into the car. Driven by the horn, the bar owner sets the bar on fire and burns it to ashes. Iggy finds a ring in his car, which he plans to use to propose to Marin. A brief memory appears when he wants to propose to Marin. Iggy heads to the restaurant where he finds a despondent Marin. Marin tells him that she's moving to Los Angeles and wants to break up because she wants to explore her own life. An angry Iggy makes a scene and storms out of the restaurant. He gets in the car and drives away immediately. The next morning, the police find Iggy in the car and ask him when was the last time he saw Marin. Back to the present, Iggy goes to the restaurant and finds the waitress, Veronica. Under the horn's pressure, she confesses everything to him. She reveals that in order to become famous, she's fabricating facts for the police. But Iggy claims his brother Terry was there that night and he knows the truth. He drives to see his brother Terry, waiting for his performance to end. Iggy runs into Glenna at the bar, who mentions her stomach problems, but doesn't know why. Iggy realizes she doesn't remember eating a box of donuts in the morning. Glenna tries to seduce him, and confesses her feelings for him. Iggy tells his brother Terry about the lies the waitress told the police. Terry admits that Marin left with him that night, and she asked him to drop her off in the middle of the woods. Terry waits for her in the car, but wakes up the next morning beside a bloody rock. He gets scared, goes to look for her in the woods, and finds that Marin is dead. Fearing the consequences, he throws the evidence into the river. Iggy finds out about the lies his brother Terry previously told him and is furious. The police arrive at the scene accusing him of fleeing. They arrest and reprimand Iggy. The next morning Lee bails Iggy out. Iggy notices Lee wearing Marin's cross and becomes furious upon discovering Lee's involvement with Marin. Iggy visits Marin's father but finds him pointing a gun at his back. He asks Marin's father about her affair, but he denies it and accuses him of ruining his world. In an abandoned warehouse, Iggy tries to break his horns. He finds a nest of snakes crawling towards him, but discovers that they are friendly. He decides to seek justice for his girlfriend. Iggy attacks Veronica with his snakes, leaving her horribly disfigured. As she screams for help, the snakes bite and torment her. On his way to Terry's house, the police stop Iggy. But Iggy uses his persuasive horns to entice them. He visits Terry and finds him doing drugs. He criticizes him for selling out and destroying evidence to save himself. Iggy reprimands him that he could have saved him by telling the police the truth, and for this he will punish him. Iggy uses his horns to force Terry to take all his drugs. Terry starts hallucinating while Iggy mocks him. Before being dragged underground, he sees Marin's death. The next morning, Iggy asks Lee about his relationship with Marin. Lee answers that they wanted to make sure before revealing their relationship. Lee asks Iggy for help, but he gets angry and snatches Marin's cross from his hands. In the end, Lee sees the horns. Under the horn's influence, he admits to killing Marin. Iggy knocks him down with a pitchfork. When Iggy grabs Lee, he is able to relive the memory of Marin's death. In Lee's memory, Iggy sees Lee following Terry 
and finds him passed out in the car. He goes into the woods to look for Marin. Marin is initially surprised, but Lee tries to comfort her. Lee tries to kiss her, but Marin refuses and immediately backs away in disgust. Lee tries to force her to discuss the signal she gave him, but she refuses. She explains that he was misled by his own thoughts. Back in the present, Iggy is blinded by his emotions. Lee, looking for an opportunity, continuously attacks Iggy from behind. Lee whips the vulnerable Iggy with a chain and describes how he repeatedly took advantage of Marin. He admits that when she tried to defend herself and bit his hand, he hit her head with a stone. Then he placed the evidence in Terry's car and drove away from the crime scene. Back to the present, Lee traps Iggy in his car and sets it on fire. Unable to find a way out, he drives off the dock and into the river. Terry lies in a hospital bed due to a drug overdose while his parents cry over Iggy's death. Journalists report that his body has not been found, leading them to assume he is dead. Lee tells everyone that Iggy confessed to him and committed suicide. Luckily, Iggy doesn't die in the car. He manages to escape from it. He stumbles onto the beach, grateful that his horns saved him. Iggy barely manages to visit Marin's father who asks him how he is still alive. Iggy claims to know who killed Marin. Her father shows him generosity. He invites Iggy inside and gives him a key that was addressed to him. In return, Iggy offers him Marin's necklace, but he refuses to accept it, saying that Iggy needs it more than anyone else. As Iggy puts on the cross, all his wounds miraculously start to heal, and he returns to normal. He walks to the treehouse in the woods and uses the key to open the hidden storage locker. He finds a letter from Marin written in Morse code. In the letter, she reveals that she knows Iggy was going to propose to her, and although she wants to get married, she can't. She is worried that her disease will spread in her family, and she doesn't want him to suffer like her father did when her mother died. Therefore, Marin decides to break Iggy's heart, allowing him to live a normal life. Iggy tells Terry the truth before leaving to confront Lee, but Terry wants to join him, and they go together. Strangely, Lee doesn't remember anything about his encounter with Iggy. Iggy invites Lee for a walk and takes him to the scene of Marin's murder. Iggy claims he knows Lee's crimes, but Lee denies. Iggy convinces Lee to confess his crimes and surrender to the police. Suddenly, Eric appears from behind a tree with a gun pointed at Lee. Lee confesses everything and pretends to go with him. Looking for an opportunity, he attacks Eric and steals the gun. Lee points the gun at Iggy, but Terry steps in to save him, getting shot in the leg. Iggy retaliates, but Eric is hit, his head blown off. Left with no choice, Iggy tears open Marin's cross and a pair of beautiful angel wings emerge from his back. The wings burn up instantly, and a devil rises from the flames. Iggy finally transforms into a devil and walks towards Lee. Lee starts shooting at him, but the bullets quickly run out. He pretends to beg for mercy. As soon as Lee sees an opportunity, he stabs Iggy with a hayfork. Iggy falls to his knees. Iggy manages to gather all his strength, impales Lee with his horns, and then throws him away. Afterward, snakes appear around Lee, devouring his insides. Iggy dies beside the treehouse. Terry comforts him as he turns to stone. In the end, Iggy avenges his girlfriend's murder and punishes the killer. Iggy manages to deliver justice for his girlfriend just as he promised himself. Every devil is a fallen angel from heaven, and Iggy was chosen to become a devil to avenge his love. Finally, the beautiful love story of Iggy and Marin comes to an end. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like. It really helps the channel out of difficulties. Thank you for watching.